Welcome to our WPF development series. Today we're tackling an exciting challenge that many new developers encounter. Our viewer is attempting to create a custom video transport control similar to the one you see on YouTube. The viewer has made great progress, having implemented hover animations and a partially rendered control. However, they're facing a hurdle with the draggable thumb on the timeline. Specifically, they want to know if their approach is correct and how to enable the dragging functionality. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by reviewing your approach to creating the draggable thumb for your video timeline control. You are on the right track by using an ellipse to represent the thumb. To enable dragging functionality, you need to handle mouse events properly. Specifically, you should capture the mouse when the thumb is clicked and update its position as the mouse moves. In your code, you have the on mouse left button down and on mouse move methods. Ensure that you set a flag to indicate when dragging is active and update the thumb's position based on the mouse's current position. Finally, remember to release the mouse capture when the mouse button is released. This will stop the dragging action and reset your flag. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. When creating custom controls in WPF, it's best to inherit from existing controls rather than starting from scratch. For a custom slider, you can extend the slider control to utilize its built-in features like thumb dragging and value properties. To extend a control, start with its default template, which you can find in Visual Studio. Pay attention to the track element, which includes buttons for increasing and decreasing the slider value. By using the required elements in the template, your base control will handle basic slider functions. You can then customize the style and add new features as needed. If certain slider properties, like minimum, aren't applicable for your timeline control, you can simply use the slider control in your template without exposing those properties. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To create a timeline slider for video transport in WPF, you can use the built-in slider control. Customize its appearance by changing the fill color and binding its value to the media element's position. When the slider value changes, update the media element's position only if the user interacts with the slider. You can achieve this by handling mouse and keyboard events. To control the visibility of the slider thumb, you can either create a custom slider class or modify the control's style. This allows the thumb to appear when the mouse hovers over the slider.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To control video transport in WPF, you can handle mouse events for a timeline. When the mouse moves, calculate the selection width based on the mouse position. If you're dragging the thumb, update the progress box width accordingly. You can start dragging the thumb by setting a flag when the left mouse button is pressed. When released, reset this flag to stop dragging. To prevent event bubbling, handle the event arguments properly. This ensures that the leave event won't trigger unexpectedly. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.